we have the pleasure today to have with us. <coughs> Sorry, we have to do it. We have the pleasure to have with us today Mr. Najib Halabi, Chairman of the Board of Trustees for the American University in Beirut. Hello, Mr. Halabi. Uh, my first question I would like to ask you, why are you so interested personally to, to help the American University in Beirut? Because I think the best thing we in the Western world uh, are doing in the Middle East the Arab Middle East in particular, is this university uh, teaching healing in a place that needs it so very badly, replacing the violence with quiet learning, replacing the craziness with reason, replacing the death and destruction with healing. That's what this university is doing, and it's the best thing that's being done. You there. were a student at uh, AUB? No, I no, I never had that privilege or opportunity. I went to Stanford and Yale Law School, and uh, yet uh, I love it. Uh, I love the university, the idea that it's a non commercial, non military, selfless kind of academic mission uh, in a country that, that needs it. And yet we ask nothing of them. It's uh, we give, and uh, instead of bombs and cannon and grenades, it's comparative religion, uh, comparative government, it's philosophy, it's technology, it's medicine, and that's the best of America. That's, uh, very why what are the dilemmas that confronted you during your uh, work as uh, the president of the Board mm -hmm. of Trustees for the AUB? Well, the university is a New York State uh, nonprofit corporation, and we have a Board of Trustees that's about two-thirds American and one-third uh, Middle East. And I happen to be an Arab American. My father came over from that part of the world. From uh, Lebanon? From Lebanon, and met my mother in Texas, and we moved to California. It's great, by the way, to be back to Southern California, where there are so many people interested in the Middle East and wanting to put America's best face and best foot forward. Uh, the dilemmas are that uh, the Arab states who benefit most from the university uh, are willing to give to the 500-bed hospital in the medical school but they're not uh, willing to give to a liberal arts, non-sectarian, private, independent university. They rather give it to their own uh, government universities of their own faith. Uh, on the other hand, the Americans say, let the Arabs finance yeah. it. So we have a bit of a, a badminton game there. I think the second problem is that people say, is the university still going? Is it still alive? And we say, of course it is. We'll had 5,000 students last year. We graduated 1,000. Isn't that remarkable? In the middle of all In the, the war. In the middle of all the war and the hatred and the distrust and the violence, we graduated 1,000 students according to American academic standards. In, In this year. In medicine and In medicine, agriculture. engineering, agriculture. It's, it's a miracle. And Dr. Malcolm Kerr, who was yeah, that's the my president. Next, uh, question I would like to ask you also. Well, he was absolutely a distinguished scholar, 20 years here at UCLA, uh, a, a, a scholar, a wonderful man. His parents came out of the American University of Beirut. He had his AB there. He got his MA at uh, Princeton, his PhD at Johns Hopkins. The perfect man. But, you see, he represented reason against those who would destroy reason. He represented the best of the United States for those who wanted to terrorize anyone connected with the United States. He was there as our best. Now, we must remember him, and the way to remember him is to bring the best and brightest with the greatest need for learning and healing power from all over the Middle East to that university. All the teaching can in is in English. Most of the students speak Arabic as well. Some speak English, Arabic, and French. It's a, a, an international place. So come there as scholars 
and give to the Malcolm Kerr Scholarship Fund That's how so we, that yeah. someone in and need can come there and get teaching. That's how we are planning to memorialize him. Memorialize yeah. The yeah. Malcolm Kerr. You know, we interviewed him a week before he was uh, right, assassinated in Portugal. Well, you uh, then saw on camera what a wonderful man he was and how, how he represents the best of the West uh, Do you coming have to the East. any message to tell the, our audience from Southern California mm -hmm. how to get involved, Arab Americans or mm -hmm. even Americans that are our viewers? Well, I think this is uh, of great interest to Arab Americans, but even more important to Americans without any connection with the Middle East. They're tired of sending traders and bankers uh, uh, over. They're tired of sending Marines and uh, USS New Jersey and, in a sense, the hardest part of America. Let them send scholars. Let them send students. Let them send their money to enable these people to resume Thanks. reason, to resume loving each other. How many American teachers are now teaching at, uh, or professors? About 60. 60? Yes, out of a faculty of about 350. We had as many as 120. And we hope we can replenish and renew the American component of this international faculty. And uh, nominations, uh, urging qualified teachers to go out there and helping us finance their going out there is the way Americans can help the American University of Beirut. We hope that uh, your, all your wishes will be accomplished in helping the university, and we appreciate all your efforts and mm -hmm. support to the AUB. Thank may you very much. May God's will be done. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you. So what do you think? The third question? Ask her question. So you go to UIC? Yeah. <laughs> what, what are you studying there? Economics. Really? Economics? Yeah, could you look this How are you doing yeah. with the Olympics there at UIC? Well, I'm at UVA, so I don't know. Why are you personally interested? <laughs> Why are you personally interested in helping the University of America? Uh, Why are you so interested in... Eh? I'm sorry, I thought the green was there. Oh. Mr. Halabi, why, uh, why are you so interested in helping the University of Beirut? One more time, sorry please. Mr. Halabi, why are you so interested in helping the American University of Beirut? Mr. Halabi, why are you so interested personally in helping the University of the American University of Beirut. Hey, wait. What is the dilemma that is uh, confronting you in helping the university? No, I'm sorry. What is the dilemma? What is the dilemma that is confronting you in your effort for helping the University of Beirut? What is the dilemma that is confronting you in your effort of he to helping the, universe, the American University of Beirut? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Halaby, what is the dilemma that is confronting your effort in helping the American University of Beirut? Okay. And one more time without making what is the dilemma that is confronting you in helping the American University of Beirut? Right. How do you expect to remember Dr. Malcolm Kerr, the former president of the AUB, and carry on his work? How will <coughs> How will you remember Dr. Malcolm Kerr, the former president of the AUB, and carry on his work? One more time, only a little softer in the delivery. 
how will you remember? <laughs> how will you remember? <coughs> you are going? How will you remember Dr. Malcolm Kerr, the former president of AUB, and carry on his work? How you remember? How many American professors are teaching at AUB now? Currently teaching at AUB. Thank <laughs> you.